Here is a quick video looking over how to use the Keybind Visualizer. So first thing you're going to want to do to edit the sheet is you're going to go to File and Make a Copy and name it whatever you want. I'll just name it My Keybind Visualizer. You won't be needing the original sheet back, so you can just close that off. First thing you're going to want to do is set this to 50% zoom, as you can see up here. And that will let you see a lot more of the, of the spreadsheet. So here we can see a couple things. We see a keyboard laid out, and we can see a mouse pad laid out. Let me switch this to normal real quick, to none. That should be what it looks like when you open it. I have just uh, had it differently. And you can see what my personal binds are. So you see all of these binds over here, you see all of these binds over here on the mouse pad and top down of the mouse. This is because I own a Logitech G600 and it would be vastly impossible to put in every single layout for each different mouse. So you can kind of think of it like, oh, this button is my first side button, this is my second, this is my third, and use it like that. It won't, it won't look exactly the same, but just uh, use them like that. Um, so now we're over here. What you will want to do is you're going to want to put in your own keybinds. So there are a couple different tabs at the bottom here, which each correspond to a different modifier. For instance, if I go and I change this to option, this gives me a whole different set of keybinds because I personally have all of my keybinds on my option modifier. Or you can do shift or control or whatever. So let's go back to none. And then you could also switch through the different styles. So you have ranged, you have magic, you have melee. And you can see how both my keyboard is changing and my mouse is changing. I don't know why I don't really have any <laughs> keybinds over there. But let's go back to magic. You can see all of that changes. And this will become apparent when you try to input your own binds. You don't, unless you want to copy mine, right? Input, and you can see all of these abilities over here and items and stuff like that. So looking at this a little bit closer, you could see that there are some shortenings of some words here. For instance, Omni, or this can be changed to SS for soul split. This is G chain. Um, this is Sarah Brew, stuff like that. So by and large, almost every single thing that you're going to use normally has some sort of abbreviation towards it to make it easier to say, right? Sonic, G conk, stuff like that, G rest. And I have inputted all of those nicknames into the spreadsheet itself. So you can use the spreadsheet and just put in the fastest, quickest words to put in there. For instance, deep breath, right? How you're going to normally talk about it is fix. All of these should have their corresponding ones, right? This is deep breath. This is this fix. That's what it's pulling to. So this input page is for your normal actions. If you can't find the exact name for it, for instance, if you had Dark Sliver of Lang Barros, you're going to want to use the name that the wiki uses because for some, I don't have every single abbreviation or I don't have it perfectly down or something like that. If all of that fails, you can't find this weapon, you can't find this item that you need. Maybe it's some weird quest item or maybe I haven't been updating it. You can go into custom keybinds. And then from here, let's say you want to add full arrows. You could put in full arrows. And then all you need to do is paste the link of that from the wiki. You do copy image, image address, and you'd be able to paste that in. And then that would be, uh, you could use that throughout the sheet. So now you have down how to put in your normal keybinds. So 
I personally would just select all of this and delete it for each one of these when you're making your own spreadsheet. And that will let you have a clean slate to start with your binds. Then you have your ranged magic and melee mouse binds over here, as well as just the option binds. You only have the ability to put in for option key binds in the mouse slot. I may increase that to be shift control in the future, but that's what you have at the moment. For instance, if I go, if I put in soul split and chi barge here for whatever reason, go output modifier option, and you can see that comes through here. Uh, now, if we, if you want to input your option binds, you just click on the input option or input shift or input control for all those different things. And that should let you create your own keybinds. Let me know if you have any questions.